What's up, gang? Happy Friday. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to my gang. Shout out to y'all as always for supporting Mama Magical. I love y'all so much. Y'all continue to hold me down. Y'all continue to be loving on me, loyal to me, all those things. And it does not go unnoticed. And I'm still excited for those who have received their Mama Magical Oracle deck. So thank you so much for those who have sent me pictures of them um them receiving them all that i really appreciate that shout out to my new subscribers welcome to the gang welcome to the gang make sure that you guys like comment feel free to give me your requests um leave me questions of uh, readings that you want me to do for you all i'm always open to that my gang will tell you that um feel free to email me for all things that pertain to my channel at magical flowers tarot at yahoo.com also you can for any uh to know about me if you want personal readings or anything like that feel free to go to my website at www.magicalflowerstarot.com so i'm gonna get right into this because i want to go live with y'all tonight so because i am doing some donation reading so i'm excited for that for y'all too for friday so let's get into this kanye west reading we just gonna pick up on his energy real quick we kind of been following him for a while so we just want to see what's going on with him especially after this drink drink champs um interview that kind of set the internet on fire that was talking about that for days so i had to let the energy calm down a little bit before i came in and did a reading on it so let's see what's going on with him first let me pick up on his energy y'all <laughs> I just want to see without asking any questions what Sierra has to say about him and what's going on with him. So y'all already know how I do. Let me jump into this reading by tapping into his energy by calling out his name. Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West. Kanye West. So just show me the energies that are currently surrounding Kanye West at this time. So the energies that surround him. How is he feeling at this current present time in his life? Oh, my card is already ready to talk. Spirit is ready to talk. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, the answer is no. Let's see what this talk about. What's what's no? confirmation here's your confirmation so the answer is no and confirmation these are the first two cards that fail so let's see mm, this is so kanye it says look deeply take a very good look at the situation there is more than there is more you should know read between the lines isn't this kind of what he talks about a lot he's direct but he talks in like metaphors and things like that so he's a deep person you have to look deeply you know when it comes to him um, and the things that he might try to say. Because he says a lot, but it's still so much that he doesn't say. So this is no. I wonder what this no and this confirmation is about. That's interesting. It says, do you, boo? We already know that's his energy. He's doing him. He's saying whatever the hell he want to say. He calling the names out. No bars held. You know, um, like I said, although I do think it is more deep, deeper things that he can reveal. But it's clearly that Kanye hasn't... Uh, he has the energy of an outlaw right now, a renegade. He's, he's living out of the law. He's living lawless. He can do whatever he wants. He's saying whatever he wants to say. He like, look, I'm a billionaire. Can't nobody do shit to me. You know, I'm sad. Celebration. Mm. A celebration. Initiate. Time to take the lead. It's all on you. And this is his... his it's almost like he is taking the his life by the reins at this point whether it looks crazy or not um he's it seemed like he's tired of keeping secrets he's going to say whatever the hell he want to say and it seemed like he got a lot to say about a lot of people so he's initiating a lot of stuff like he did on that interview come come fuck me up whatever he was saying calling out people and stuff like that saying come do something to him and this this and that and that and the third and then we got a hell yeah. So we got to know hell yeah and confirmation. But I feel like this is my spirit telling me, hell yeah, you on point with, <laughs> with what you're saying. So, and to me, this also talks about, when I see this is just what my spirit is saying to me. Yes, no, confirmation. This is his mind. It's just kind of all over the place. You know, it's kind of scattered. Um, I feel like he's fearful about a lot of things too. Paranoid, you know, it's back and forth. Um, so let's see. And this is a strong hell yeah. Intuition. So I, like I said, I feel like also this is his way of expressing himself. He going with what his intuition said. But see the thing, let me, let me pause on intuition real quick. Intuition 
is not always right. Intuition can be flawed. It can be skewed, you know, depending on who you are and the things that you go through. Sometimes your gut is off, <laughs> you know, especially if you have other things that are going on in your life that is kind of um, making you hazy in the mind, making you foggy. You can't think straight, especially if you are an impulsive character, as Kanye West is, how he comes across, in my opinion, you know, he is very impulsive. It seems like sometimes he'll think, he'll speak first and think later, um, especially if he's feeling something. He's a very deeply spiritually connected person. So he does move off of his feelings, you know, a lot of the times. He takes initiates and he initiates um, certain um, behaviors because of his intuition, quote unquote, and how he feels. So I feel like he's a very scattered in the mind person. Surprise, something is coming, Spirit is saying, and it's saying be ready with him. So I feel like that's what he's been doing. Honestly, these interviews, the stuff he's saying, it's a shock, it's a surprise. You know, people are like, damn, he did it again. Why right wouldn't we thought that he could Kanye, couldn't Kanye no more? He is Kanye again. So that's just the type of person. He's a wow factor type of person, a wild card. And it says guilty. Shame lies. They did that shit. So I feel like, you know, he like, like I said, he is in the energy of, listen, this is my time right now. I'm saying what the fuck I want to say. I'm calling people out. I'm calling quote unquote lies out. They did that shit. Yeah, they put me up to that. Because I remember that time, you know, that he was talking about, he called himself putting Jay-Z and Beyonce out with the whole Taylor Swift. If y'all remember that comment, and he was saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce set him up to do that. I think that was around the time where he went on TMZ and said some wild stuff. So y'all know what I'm talking about. We got abusive energy. Energy of abuse, sexual, physical, mental, verbal, or drugs. I feel like it's a little bit of all of that when it comes to Kanye. I feel like he's been through that, and I feel like he has witnessed that in this industry, and that's kind of why he is really lashing out and going through a crisis right now. Whether you want to call it bipolar, paranoia, uh, whatever you want to call it, borderline personality disorder, I feel like this is the call, almost like a person that is shell-shocked. May happen in a year or years from now. So I'm going I'm to keep it at that. I'm going to get into my tarot and jump into y'all questions. But I said that there's something to come and to be ready. And Spirit is saying, this is why I love this deck because it gives you time frames. Spirit is saying may happen in a year or years from now. But something is coming. Something will be revealed when it comes to him. You know, look deeper. Look beyond the surface. Read between the lines, y'all. Because we got no hell yeah confirmation and celebration. So that's interesting. That's an interesting mix. Of, let me just pull one more. That's health. Health. Pay attention to your health, physical or men mental. Then I say it doesn't matter if you want to call him, you know, uh, um, paranoid, borderline personality disorder, bipolar, uh, one and two, whatever you want to say. If you feel like he's going through a crisis right now. He feel like whatever is going, I just feel like this is just, you know, this is just the, um, the ice, something that happened to Kanye. And this is the ice in that, you know, sometimes it's just a bill when it comes to people and <clears throat> it's just the things that accumulate over time that make people just want to let it all out. And I feel like that is the space that Kanye is in right now, but we shall see something is coming. So let's get into tarot and get to y'all questions. So we see the energies that is around him. Is somebody watching Kanye? Is he being watched at this current present moment in his life? Is he being watched? Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West. Is he being watched? Are they out to get him? You know, he uh, called out certain uh, racial groups and, you know, things like that. So I don't know. Y'all think they on his head? <laughs> Y'all think they on Kanye's head right now? I think they are. The fool. Mm, the fool. That's how they're looking at Kanye. A lot of people are looking at him like he's the fool right now. Six of Wands. Now, this is interesting because remember I, that um, celebration card that came out in a, a Magical Mama Oracle deck. So, Six of Wands is celebration in tarot. Where somebody just like, somebody's just... Six of Wands is also the energy of someone 
who is be highly regarded, someone that people praise, worship, or look up to, a entertainment type of public figure, Six of Wands. If you can see people around her while you know underneath her, but while she's up on the horse, they're kind of like praising her. It's a cell, a, a um, an energy of celebration. So how I'm reading this in the context of what we talked about, that this is Kanye's energy. He is whether you hate him or love him, you still watch him. You are still entertained by him. We are still praising him by having him in the media so much whether we're talking bad or good like they say promotion is promotion free publicity is free promotion y'all know what i'm trying to say hmm. whether you're talking good or bad you're still talking about me is what i'm trying to say six of wands that go hobby weird right there i said somebody watching him five of wands Three of Pentacles. A lot of people don't want to work with him no more. King of Swords. A lot of people is talking mad shit about him. Eight of Wands. He's a renegade. He's an outlaw. This is him by himself, just moving around. I feel like he kind of in hiding right now too. You know, um, I feel like he moves around a lot. He makes sure that he's done. He doesn't stay in the same space or place for too long. But Five of Wands, they are not happy with him. Reverse the higher five. We already know we call this shit highly weird. You know, Six of Wands. Let me know he is being watched. Um, but he knows that. That's why he travels. He moves around. Remember how he was staying like in a desert? Ace, Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, Eight of Wands. You see that desert um, terrain surrounding this person? So, yes, he is being watched. He's being watched by the elites, the Hollywood, the Jews, the people that he was talking about. He's losing money to Six of Pentacles. A lot of people will start to sue him, which we have already seen to happen. He will lose um, deals with people, um, fashion, um, you know, partnerships that he had, you know, things like that. He is at risk of losing all of those things. You know, he's been bragging about his money, but people are not wanting to work with him no more. A lot of people are going to cut ties with him. Um, three of Pentacles be verse, six of Pentacles be verse, five of Wands be verse. He is in a lot of he has a lot of confliction and chaos around him by way of the things that he says. Ace of Wands, I mean Ace of Swords, and there are lies being told. And I feel like some of those lies may be coming from Kanye. You know, but I feel like the majority is coming from Hollywood. And he is just in a space where, like I said, he's tired. He's going to speak his truth. Almost like on some Jaguar right type of shit. Um, remember the reading I did about her? You know, so he's definitely being watched. This is confirmation. But Spirit, I have to say all the rest of that stuff. Because Spirit was telling me other things as I'm looking at this energy. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So he better be careful with his money. Because Hollywood has the power. Don't they say, don't ever think you got too much because we got more. What about the person that writes the billionaire's check? So, we're going to leave it at that. So, what was the energy around Dream Champs? Because remember the card says, look deeper, look beneath the surface. What was the energy around Dream Champs pertaining to Kanye West? Do y'all think Nori tried to set him up for that? Because even though he took it down and acted like he didn't know that Kanye was, come on now. We know what Kanye, we already, people is already expecting a certain type of energy from Kanye when they ask him to interview. They know how he is. People like to talk about his mental stability and things like that. So could that be like what they say, a humiliation ritual to get him to keep talking and exposing himself and pissing people off? Knight of Pentacles lost up my opportunities. Somebody's trying to take this man's money. Queen of Cups, that spiritual energy. Look, more money, Ten of Pentacles, investments. Um, I feel like this, like I said, when I see Ten of Swords to me, Ten of Pentacles, I'm sorry, this talks about years. So this has been years in the making. If y'all remember, Kanye's been talking, starting to talk kind of more loosely a couple of years back when he first started, when they like to say his mental chaotic break that he had. Um, I think around that TMZ time, exposing Jay-Z and everybody else. But this has been over a period of time. This has been coming. I feel like they've been wanting Kanye to set himself up, if that's what you want to call it. Look at the lovers. And with that shit with Kim Kardashian. And it's funny because that's what I started to say with the Ten of Pentacles. Because that does talk about um, a couple, marriage, a home, foundation, a, 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 a long-term relationship. That's him and Kim. I feel like that might be Cam's mother, too. But it's funny, because I wanted to say that, but I didn't. But guess bitch said you, I'm saying with that lover's energy. But I feel like we talk about that so much. So we already know that. Will of Fortune, reverse. So they're trying to take his fortune. They're trying to take his money. And that interview has caused more problems upon him as Kanye West. As we can see, we have... um, um What's his name? George Floyd's family trying to sue him. 
Um, I heard a couple of people that's trying to come out and sue him. Seven of Wands reverse. So exactly. It was meant for him to act unhinged, uncouth on that interview. So they knew that he would do it. They knew that he would do it. At this point, the industry looks at Kanye as a liability. So if you hire him on to do a job for you, you know the risk that you're taking. So in other words, they knew what they were doing by putting him back on Drink Champ. Does he have any regrets? No, first I want to know the energy after the interview. What is some of the energy that Kanye has faced? Post drink champs answering. Mm, look at this. This just flew out. The tower. His kids. The tower and his kids. It's just like it's more and more. It's like someone, you know, giving somebody the rope so they can hang themselves. It's like, look at him. He's crazy. I'm going to use this to make sure that he can't come near his kids. You see the lovers reverse, right? Six of six of cups reverse. Men taken away from your family, people that's close to you. Six of cups talks about that. Six of wands, people looking at him as even in a more bad light. Not celebrating him and his accomplishments. Look at him as like the crazy person now. Almost kind of what happened to R. Kelly. Um, I'm definitely not comparing them, comparing the two, but I'm comparing the energy. You know, sometimes we can act in such a way that it overshadows all the good things that we have done over the years. Ace of Swords truth coming out two of wands something like i said i knew that was planned two of wands right underneath that tower moment so tower moment is talking about surprises too just like the mama magical card that came out it talks about shocks and surprises and things that may happen um just talks about destruction of oneself you know just destructive energies around you period so that was planned like i said and now he is facing a lot of problems you know, and backlash even more. It's like he's stacking more things up that people will use against him in the future. Let me pull one more card. Page of Pentacles, more opportunities being lost. Page of Pentacles talks about that, but Page also is about children type of energy. But in this case, it talks about career and new, new endeavors, new opportunities, new endorsements. He put all of that on the line after that interview. And he is feeling it. Does he have any regrets? Does Kanye have any regrets at this point, up until this point of his life, about anything that he has revealed about the industry and about people close to him? Does he have any regrets? There goes Six of Cups again. His childhood, his past, unhappy. No, he's ready. The high priest has talked about somebody with deep secrets. Um, and, and when it's reversed, to me, it speaks about esoteric and, and occult type energy too. And things being that were once hidden being revealed. Now I'm going to say what really goes on behind the surface. So to me, when it's in, because it's about secrets and hidden knowledge and occult. But when it's reversed, to me, it's intensified. So that can be under the umbrella of magic. Like I said, um, a cult, people purposely throwing type of energies about you, um, out about you or to you, um, exposing people that are involved in cult-like activity and things like that. So this is that energy, justice, judgment, messing up his money. I don't, I honestly really don't see no, um, I don't see any regrets in this card, especially with this judgment upright. He feels like he has been treated unjustly. Um, he feels like he has not been treated right. And he now is in the business of exposing everything. But a lot of this, you know, Six of Cups, Kanye's past has a lot to do with where he is now. So just know that. But this Knight of Pentacles reverse is coming up again. So, you know, maybe he knew that he would, you know, what was at stake, what was at risk. And he just didn't care. Strength. Yeah, he's in a very weak and vulnerable state right now, which we know. You know, the strength reverse. But I still don't see any true regret or shame here. Let me pull one more just for confirmation. No, there's no boundaries anymore. He said the baby gloves are off. He's coming, swinging. He's saying whatever the fuck he wants to do. There are no boundaries anymore. Okay, now let's get to energy between him and Candace Owens. What is the true energy between Kanye West and Candace Owens? Okay. 
what is the energy between Kanye West and Candace Owens? Mm, I hope they don't fall out soon with this Eight of Cups. Mm, the Emperor. Let me find out that's her husband because I'm definitely going to ask about that. Mm, Four of Wands. Manipulation. Like somebody that got a, you know, we got the same common en enemy. So, like they say, when your enemies link up. <laughs> that's how I feel about, that's the energy that I'm getting between the two of them. Um, especially with uh, this Nine of Wands reverse. That Emperor reverse and that Four of Wands. It's like we didn't come together on the right intentions. We, call, we came, I'm going to use you for your shock factor. And I'm going to use you for your shock factor. The things you say and the things I say. We're going to team up and really make them mad. If that makes sense. But I don't feel like their little alliance is really true. I don't. The Emperor reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. That boundaries card again. And the Magician is manipulation. So I'm going to let y'all too. And then we got the judgment card because they know that they are two individuals that are highly judged by the public and by the courts. Um, they always understand <laughs> when it comes to the um, court of public opinion. Eight of swords reverse. I'm sorry. Yeah, eight of swords reverse. That is eight of swords. Both of them. Unhinged is the way people look at the both of them. You know, so let's team up and really make them mad. But I also feel like the Eight of Swords, we know, is uh, mental. Um, it talks about someone who does have mental issues. You know, taking advantage of someone in a very vulnerable state. Kind of Candace Owens is very smart. And she knows that by now, Kanye West, you know, when it comes to his mental, he is not stable. It is not balanced. And she knows that. That's that manipulation. So she knows where he is mentally. So people know how to get you when you are in a very vulnerable spot. Just like a woman who just found it out, found out she got cheated on. She's more inclined to get revenge, right? They catch you vulnerable. Not to excuse it, but I'm just saying. So how does her husband feel? How does Candace's own mm, husband feel? King of Cups husband feel about Kanye West and her his wife's relationship I feel like he knows that this is some type of opportunity a business opportunity with the page of wands we know that's not about business but that talks about opportunity eight of wands the world mm -hmm. like I thought the shock factor manipulation we're going to really get them talking the empress is the wife that is Candace Owens the fool Queen of Cups. So I feel like, you know, when it comes to their situation, he's like, okay, I know what this is. Y'all, you're controversial. He's controversial. You know, y'all going to get everybody looking at y'all. There's manipulation. There's no true friendship, you know. Um, but y'all do have a common goal, a common interest. So he sees this, I feel like, exactly for what it is, Queen of Cups. But he does also have his personal feelings too, Five of Wands. So I feel like they might have had a little, you know, a little tension between Candace and her husband due to this, the hermit. So he probably feels a little bit separated from her too, the hermit. I don't know much about her marriage, but sometimes, you know, when your husband, when your when your wife is a center of attention and potentially the breadwinner, like I said, I'm not sure about their dynamics, but sometimes it can make one feel isolated outside of that, and vice versa. So what is the industry's energy towards Kanye at this time? What is the industry's energy towards Kanye West? How do they feel about Kanye West? He's out of control and he's talking too fucking much. Nine of, nine of Pentacles reverse. We're going to stop your money. We're going to try to end you because they know that he's not going to end himself Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they don't want no ties to him. I'm over, closed off, trying to black blacklist him. It, but he's already uh, um he's already blackballed. I feel Queen of Swords. They don't fucking like him. And this Queen of Swords is a very harsh, cold energy. There is no love when it comes to her. 
King of Wands. I feel like he's out of control. Page of Swords. And I got somebody watching him and going back and forth and reporting on where he is and his whereabouts. There it go. That's confirmation. Because I know we asked earlier about that. So that Page of Swords came out. I knew it. I knew that when I saw the Six of Wands too, though. Three of Swords. Mm, he better be careful too because, because the people who thought he, he probably even thinks is his friends now are really not his friends. And the people that he was friends with have separated two of cups. He can't trust nobody in this game, in this game especially in the energy, um, industry. There's a lot of heartbreak and betrayal um, when it comes to that. Three of Swords can also talk about physical violence, murder, you know, things like that. So he needs to be careful. He really needs to be careful, but they don't fuck with him at all. And they're trying to make sure that other people do not mess with him either. But they feel like, you know, he won't stop. So they're going to have to stop him. However that may be. How does Diddy feel about him? Because, you know, Drink Champs is on Revolt. So that is Diddy's platform. He is the owner. So how does Diddy feel about Kanye West? I feel like, I think they said that he said forgive, you know, that he forgives him. But how does he truly feel about that interview and the things that Kanye West said about him particularly, specifically? about him mm. judgment reverse silence him eight of swords king of cups that's diddy so i feel like mm, ten of swords. i feel like underlying issues he didn't like what he said of course but he feel like kanye is in a he feels like that he can play the cool role, five of swords reverse, six of swords reverse, because he knows that Kanye has dug a hole so deep for himself that he don't even got to respond because the people that are above him is going to put him in that hole. They're going to cover it. They're going to, I don't want to say that because I'm not trying to speak nothing on him. I got to be careful with my tongue, but he like, I ain't got to say nothing. You done already fucked up. What Whoopi Goldberg say? You in trouble, girl. So I ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to just keep playing that cool, calm character. I'm praying for him. You know, I hope he's okay. I'm just trying to treat you like you're mental. Like, I forgive him. You know, he doesn't know what he says. He doesn't know any better. That condescending, subtle energy, if that makes sense. Mm. How is Nori's energy since Drink Champ? How is how is Nori's energy since drink champ? See, Kanye thought Nori was his friend, but Kanye is smart too, so he probably already knew, you know, that he couldn't trust Nori anyway. Three of Cups, yes, see, Nori is industry. Knight of Swords, thoughts, fast thoughts. I gotta make this right. I gotta make sure I rectify this in any kind of way that I can. King of Swords. And I told you he was industry. Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups. The Emperor. That's the head person in charge, which is all over all of them. And Queen of Pentacles. He said he ain't finna mess up his bag. He is industry. Pull one more. The world. So, yeah, he's a part of it all. He wants to make sure that he put that message out to the world. Like, listen, I didn't know he was going to do that. You know, I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm regretting the interview. Trying to look a certain way in front of the world because he know he has to. So, that concludes the reading, gang. I have not done a reading this long in a while. And I was not trying to this time. <laughs> I love you all. Let me know how in the comments how you feel. Like I said, we've been following Kanye for a while now. You know, so I'm, I, I'm interested to read y'all comments. And... Let's just pray protection around him because it's serious. It's real out here in these streets. And it's some shit going on that y'all can never imagine, even in your wildest dreams. So, till next time, gang. Talk to you soon. Ashe.